MMA Now, Power Move, Film On TV Networks. I'm David Cano with the MMA Now TV, and we're here on location at the MGM Grand Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada for UFC 200 Fight Week and all the other fights. This fight week is going to be slam Thursday night. First up, Rafael Dos Anjos versus Eddie Alvarez. This card, let's break it down real quick. RDA has been on a tear, destroyed Cerrone, took out Nate Diaz, uh, took out Anthony Pettis, three of the top contenders in the lightweight division, and former champ in Anthony Pettis, taking on Eddie Alvarez, a former champ himself with other organizations, Bellator. What can we see here? Eddie Alvarez was finished with Cerrone. Does that have any bearing on, on Thursday's fight? We don't know. But what we do know is RDA will be ready. He's coming off an injury where he was originally slated to face Conor McGregor at UFC 196. But that should be all healed up. And now it's just going to be go time. We saw the open workouts. Both fighters look like they're going to make uh, 55 on par easily. So it just comes down to who imposes whose will. RDA is going to come out fiery. And even Eddie Alvarez said that that he that's his biggest weakness. His biggest strength is his biggest weakness, which he can kind of use against him, use his aggression. If he can weather the storm, Eddie Alvarez feels like he can take this fight into the later rounds and win this fight, grind it out. Here's my prediction. I don't see Eddie Alvarez getting out of the second round of this fight. RDA is in his prime. He's just too tough. And what he's been able to do in the lightweight division, no one else has really gone on this type of tear of finishing opponents in this manner. I have RDA by TKO, uh, second round. Uh, the co-main event is Roy Big Country Nelson against Derek Lewis, the beast. This is the matchup of, is Roy Nelson the gatekeeper? Can, can he be that person to finally vie for the UFC heavyweight title? I mean, right now the UFC heavyweight title, there's a lot of people in line that you have Stipe with the champ. Kane's fighting Travis Brown at 200. Then you have Fabrizio Verdum wanting to get into the mix. Will Big Country finally get on track for a title? Or is he going to be simply the gatekeeper? Derek Lewis, he's on a string of wins and with a win over Big Country that will really solidify himself in the upper echelon of that top 10 in the heavyweight division. It should be an interesting matchup. Roy Nelson's last fight was not too fan friendly against Jared Rochalt. Um, so again, it's gonna be interesting to see this matchup. Both big hitters, both big swingers. Roy Nelson does have a chin on him. Derek Lewis wasn't really challenged so much by Gonzaga, but, but this fight will really see what's gonna happen. My prediction is I have Roy Nelson winning a decision over Derek Lewis. Also interesting, Alan Jubain is on the card against newcomer Bilal Muhammad. That'll do it for now for UFC 200 Fight Week from MGM Grand in Las Vegas, Nevada.